Dive into Divine Texts, a vocabulary guide to religious studies. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our advanced vocabulary series. Today, we are going to explore the exciting world of religious studies, focusing specifically on religious texts and scriptures. If you're keen on understanding the diverse religious beliefs around the world, having a strong grasp of the vocabulary related to religious texts is essential. So, let's dive in. To begin with, we must understand that religious texts, or scriptures, are writings considered sacred and spiritually significant by various religious traditions. These texts contain teachings, stories, and laws that guide the believers. When discussing religious texts, we often use the term, canon. A canon, in religious terms, is a collection of texts that a particular religious community regards as authoritative or sacred. In this section, we'll explore some specific terms associated with the religious texts of different religions. In Christianity, the key text is the Bible, which is divided into two sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. For Islam, the primary religious text is the Quran, also spelled as Koran, which is considered the word of God as revealed to the prophet Muhammad. Buddhists follow the teachings in the Tripitaka, or Pali Canon, and Hindus revere the Vedas and Upanishads as their principal texts. The Jewish faith holds the Torah as its central text, along with the Talmud, a collection of rabbinic discussions. Finally, Let's explore some additional key terms that often come up in the context of religious texts. Exegesis refers to the critical interpretation of a religious text. Hermeneutics is another related term, referring to the theory or methodology of interpretation, often applied to religious and legal texts. The term apocrypha refers to texts that are not considered part of the official canon by some sects, despite their historical or cultural importance. Thank you all for joining today's session on Religious Studies Vocabulary. With a good understanding of these words, you will be better equipped to explore the fascinating world of religious studies and participate in more nuanced discussions about different belief systems. We hope this video has been helpful, and we look forward to seeing you in our next lesson.